It's the team that created one of the best-loved British films of the last decade, Billy Elliot, have come together to produce a stage version. With the advent of new musical influences by Sir Elton John and the first three boys cast to play the role, the stage is set for a magical musical experience. For James Lomas, George Maguire and Liam Moore, this is the beginning of a journey. We are very strong. We've never done this before. Here are the boys. I was really happy because I didn't think I was going to get, like, far or anything. Now I'm here on the stage doing it. And it's just amazing. I'm amazed. <laughs> <laughs> It's been well, good. Yeah. It's been very exciting. It's been wicked. Yeah. Um, what was hard then? Getting blank. Did you get blank a lot? I was like, um, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. <laughs> After a critique of the performance at the press launch with director Stephen Daldry, the Billies get a chance to see the first publicity shots in the evening papers. But all three boys have a very different background to the glamour and fame of theatre land. This is my house and this is my family. And this is my dog, Jesse. 14-year-old James Lomas always had a dream of being a performer. Though he knew what he wanted and had faith that someday it would happen, he never realised that winning the part of Billy would mean living away from home. Though James spends most of his time in London, he still enjoys visiting the dance school in Sheffield where it all began. I like coming to this dance club because it's where I first started, where I first started to dance. At first he really wanted to work, learn modern jazz um, and then I suggested that he join in the tap classes as well and then we got him going with the theatre craft and very, very slowly I persuaded him that it would be a good idea if he joined the ballet classes, which um, he wasn't so sure of. Go on, I dare you. Prepare! Well, after he'd been coming about four weeks, um, he got a pair of tap shoes and he used to always be the last one in class still with his tap shoes on, teach, trying to teach himself steps. And one of my assistants said, if anybody's Billy Elliot, he is. Hold it. What have we got here, then? There's uh, the article that my dance teacher, Mrs Berry, saw in the stage paper. And suggested to his mum that perhaps it might be a good idea for him to go down to London to that. We are looking for boys aged 11 to 14 to play the role of Billy Elliot and Michael in our West End production. Must be able to dance, sing and act brilliantly. And I personally sort of like half poo pooed the idea because um, I thought it was a long way just for an audition that we absolutely never had a, a an idea that he'd even contemplate it. Well, we talked about it privately without telling James first, and I said to her, you can do with this information whatever you want. Um, and then when she chatted to him, she said, what do you think? And I said, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, and if you don't try, you don't get anywhere, do you? Well, we actually looked on the internet, found this little hotel, <clears throat> couldn't all afford to go, and me and James set off on our own. And it was a great adventure for us, because, you know, I've only been to London a couple of times before. So what's it like, like? What's what like? London. I don't know, son. I never made it past Durham. And we'd actually got a weekend planned for going doing sightseeing, and of course that never happened. When James's dad, Peter, uh, found out, he actually started crying on the phone. And James was absolutely gobsmacked. And my dad come up and he goes, have you got it, have you got it? And I'm going, yeah, I've got it. And he just burst out into tears. And I was like, oh, my God, I've never seen my dad cry before. And I could hear him on the other end, you were like, getting really emotional. And I was getting emotional. And it was just so mad, this house. I think it's an amazing opportunity, once in a lifetime. It's fantastic to live through it because it's something that just doesn't happen to us. Obviously, we miss not having him at class now that he's rehearsing full time in London. It's what I want to do, and this is where I'm heading. It's been a long process, and it's been like an amazing roller coaster ride. Can't wait to be there for the opening night. I might miss it. It's my hometown, <laughs> and this is where I got been brought up and grew up and met my best friend and met all my other friends, and it's where all my family lives.
excitement fills the air as the Billies see the Victoria Palace Theatre for the first time, an imposing venue where each boy will be the star performer before an audience of 1,500 theatre goers several times a week. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't feel nervous. scared as such, nervous. I just feel really nervous. It's really, really It just gives you like a feeling of what it's going to be like. On a tour of the theatre, director Stephen Daldry explains just how Liam, James and George will have to project their talents to the highest point of the gallery. In all the excitement, however, there's still time for fun and games in the empty theatre. Eventually, you're going to go your way around it like a second home. Why is being first? 14 year old George Maguire comes from a street dancing background. George leads an active life and has a reputation for being a bit of a comedian. George loves playing golf with his dad, his drum kit, and the numerous collections he keeps in his bedroom. Dancing has been a real eye-opener for George, who, out of the three boys cast to play Billy, has the least dancing experience. Started dancing about... Yeah. You were in your mother's womb, I think, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, about a year ago, but I've just started properly dancing for about six months, haven't I? Yeah. When, um, mm. when I started Billy Elliot, when they got me all my private lessons, that's when everything started to come together and my dancing got much better. With his ballet, he, uh, he goes to a class of about 20 girls, don't you? Mm. For a he lesson. finds that a little bit intimidating, I One, think, because he's the only lad like there. Turn, turn and stop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Where are those arms? I don't know what to do. Follow the others. Shut up, Debbie. One, two. One, you have to go across the room, like, one by one, and I'm like, oh, my God, because they're all watching me. And he's got his tights on. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm kidding you. You owe me 50 pence. No, I don't. You do. Why don't you bring it along next week? Can't. I'm going to boxing. Will you crap at boxing? No, I'm not. Shut up. When I play the drums, it all comes naturally, and it, it, I don't find it hard. And I didn't have to. I didn't have a teacher or learn. It just come. Oh, everything you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to sit you on the back, didn't I? Yeah. I'll just stick for you. He may have beaten 3,000 boys from all over the UK to play Billy Elliot, but can George beat Dad in a drumming contest? The first audition. You actually come home, didn't you, because yeah, you got, got it wrong? I thought I got sent home. We arrived really early, um, queued up in the rain for, you know, a good few hours. George eventually went in. When the door opened and I had to walk in there, my, just, my butterflies just went really tight and I was like, oh, my God, here, here we go. The time just kept going on on. The door was opening, all other kids were coming out crying or really upset. And I got through again. But we didn't, we didn't leave this time, we just stayed there. It was about six o'clock in the evening. He said all these names and he said my name. But I thought, he's, I thought he said these people, like, to leave. So when he said my name, I just, I just left and walked out. The door opened and George came out and obviously absolutely gutted, really upset in the car. And we were saying, don't worry, it's all right. You know, there'll be other chances. I went to bed as soon as I got in because I was really upset. And then when I woke up the next morning, Mum comes up, she goes, Jules, Jules, like, really excited. The phone rang and they said, well, where did George go? We told him to sit over and wait, um, you know, for the next group of boys to come up and sing. And he disappeared. Can we come, you know, can we see him again? And I go, what is it, Mum? She goes, you wasn't meant to go yesterday. And I was like, what? So we was over the moon, obviously, and so was George. And then he got through that, and then the next one, and the next one, and... And here he is. I can't believe he's actually going to do it. I still can't believe it until we actually I see him on stage, really. Oh. Oh, that's, that's oh, one oh. We're excited. Elton John! We're going to be here. So let's see Elton John. He's 
actually going to come down. I don't actually think it's real. Hello. Hi. Yeah, all right. Hi, boys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? James. George. George. Liam. Liam. Hi, how are you? Hello. All right. This is Arthur. The chewing tape off the floor. And he's, um, he's on this plane everywhere else and goes. And he goes in helicopters as well. And he, abs and he absolutely loves it. Arthur! Arthur! He's getting some tape. Arthur! Arthur! The Billies and Sir Elton John rehearse the piece they will be performing at the Royal Variety Performance. For the Billies, this will be the first time they will sing, dance and act before a live audience. Pictures, George. <laughs> OK. You don't flash, I took it off. So I did. That's it, I'll blind you. Yeah, blind you. <laughs> In a landscape that shares natural beauty with heavy industry, we find the home of 12-year-old Liam Moore. His exceptional talent has not only gained him one of the lead roles in Billy Elliot, but has also won him a place at the Royal Ballet School. Liam is the third son in a family of four boys. His desire to be a classical ballet dancer sets not only a contrast with his environment, but the cultural traditions of his rugby-playing family. Yeah, it's been an experience, a really good experience, but it's been a roller coaster. Yeah, and it'll be great, obviously, but I think what I'm being great for us is having to leave the kids at home and, you know, having to leave them and... It's turned a few things upside down, but, it, yeah, it's definitely been worth it. One of the most things I was frightened of, it comes from, like, a family of four and stuff like that, you know, everything had to, it's always had to be shared. And when we very, very first went to London, it got answered straight away and everything else, and I thought, Oh my God, you know, he's going to get, is he going to get carried away with all this and become a bit of a spoiled kid and will he come home thinking he's special? And he is, of course, but then I think all my kids are. All kids are special, aren't they? But um, he doesn't and he hasn't done touch wood. I don't think the kids would allow him anywhere. It's some people back down, I think. Oh, proper tackling. Gang up, mate, bullies. As a boarding pupil at the Royal Ballet School, Liam only comes home for weekend visits. South Shore Beach is Liam's most favourite place in all the world. Whether he is dancing or playing rugby with his brothers, Liam is not afraid of a little rough and tumble. People used to ask Paul how the kids was getting on at rugby and stuff like that. And, um, Liam was never really spoken about. That used to cause not a few problems, but I used to say, he used to talk about Liam as if he still played rugby. And that used to, used to upset me a little bit. I found it a bit hard to take in, really. Because, uh, like, I, I used to play rugby. Uh, the elder boys used to play rugby, so obviously I wanted to play rugby as well. Lads do football or boxing or wrestling. Friggin' Bali! All of a sudden, you know, you've got this dancer and, you know, and you think, you don't know where it's come from. It's amazing, really. What changed my mind about him dancing was when we used to go to competitions and things like that, you, when you see him up on stage or dancing, it, just the enjoyment he gets out of it, he loves it. Is that absolutely necessary? Walk normal, will you? I'm definitely a proud dad now. Definitely. Yeah! I'll make a rugby flower with me. Sunday morning and Liam is packing. Going on stage like nearly every night and it'll be really different compared to life at home. Liam returning to London is always a mixture of bittersweet emotions for the Moore family. He didn't want to go back yesterday, did you? No. I'm OK all the time he's away. Once he's been home, that's I don't want him to go back. He yeah. came home one time and he said, there's a really thick girl there, she's really, really nice. And I said, is she really pretty? And he went, she's got the most amazing feet. And we went, 
Fade. I think it's a ballet thing. Feet. <laughs> Have a nice time. I will. Bye. 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 Guys, excited? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Director Stephen Daldry oversees last-minute rehearsals. Will all that training, energy, and talent produce a spectacle worthy of a royal variety performance? As you move on to that stage, you'll have no time. Yeah. So don't get distracted by other people. Don't get distracted by everything else. Try to stay focused. Yeah, a lady just yeah, come out and said, who would you yeah. like to meet? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, we said girls can have out. And Sharon yeah. yeah. Osborne, because yeah. she's Wicked like person. mega famous. As the Billies wait for their sound check, George sees one of his comedy idols. You're one of those sort of questions. Are you all children or are you midgets? <laughs> children. Oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, he's midget clearly, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's so funny, I like him. The boys are called back to rehearse for their first live performance. We took him for the audition for Billy Elliot um, for experience. It would be a good experience. Never thought any further than that. The thought of actually seeing him on stage, I don't, don't know how I'm going to cope with it. Just thinking about it when I'm driving along in the car and I'm going through it in my mind. I'm crying as I, as I do that. To find something that you can do, that you're good at, I think is very lucky. I dreamed for all this to happen to him when he's about 15, but not at 12. It's happened really quick. He'll just give it his best, and hopefully it'll all go really well for him. There's not many people can actually live the dream, and this is like living the dream for him. We met Sharon Osborne. Yeah, we met Sharon Osborne. Fabulous. <laughs> and we were just about to go on stage, and we we're pretty nervous. And singing and in front of first Prince time. Charles. All three boys have won the role of Billy Elliot purely on the merits of their hard work, individual talent, and a little of that indefinable ingredient X. Their golden experience playing Billy will last just six months, after which another three boys will become Billy Elliot. In the uncertain world of performance, nobody can predict where James, Liam and George will then turn their attentions, but having played Billy Elliot in a West End production can only help these special young men with any future career in the performing arts. Do some films. That's what I want to do. I'd like to be an actor. Going on the West End. I mean, if a rock band come across and they ask me to do drumming, then I'd, I'd take it. Mm -hmm.